full table here at the 2010 Aussie Millions. This is the big game. Buy-in costs you somewhere anywhere between $100,000 and $250,000. <laughs> and the action is on Andrew Feldman from the UK. Andrew, a very tidy player, but he's been pretty quiet so far. Not now, though, under the gun, he makes it 2,100 to go. Well, he's got nine ten of hearts, an interesting hand, suited connector. And there is our Hungarian billionaire, Sandor, in the action. He's picked up nine jack offsuit. Sandor feels lucky. What about Massa? Well, Massa's picked up pocket eights here. Could potentially raise. No, he just makes the call. Playing a bit carefully. Gus gets out of the way. Around to Durr, Tom Dwan, who, as you can see by the amount of chips in front of him, is having a very, very good day. And that has inspired him to make the call with just a 5-3 offsuit. So four to the flop. And here it comes. It is an ace, eight, four flop. Massive flop for Masakagawa, flopping middle set. Duan has an inside straight draw. Nothing there for Feldman. But he is going to make the continuation bet. 5,500. 5,500 is the amount. Sandor gets out of the way. Round to Massa now with his middle set. A lot of blinking. The Japanese man. I wonder whether the expert players will be picking up on that. So he's sitting, in for, sitting with him for quite a while. He decides not to raise. He's just going to call here, trapping. Now, is that pricing Tom Dwan in? Well, with that many chips in front of you, like you mentioned earlier, you know, sometimes you can speculate with risky hands, and it looks like that's what he's doing. Right. And he's reaching for chips, so he's not going anywhere. He makes the call, and we go to the turn. And the turn is a two of spades, so Tom Dwan's speculation has paid off. Check. And he checks. Check. And Feldman checks as well, so it's over to Massa now, who at the flop was such a favourite. And now could be betting into, well, a storm, really. Now he's going to need the board to pair. We know he's not going to get Tom Dwan off this hand. Tom, at the moment, has the nuts. He bets 11,000. Now it's over to Durr. Will he choose to raise? He's generally been slow playing his monster hands, as we saw a little earlier with Chris Ferguson. But Massa is no Chris Ferguson, and it may be that Tom will play it differently against the less experienced player. Looks like he's reaching for the bigger priced chips, the more expensive ones. Yeah, remember this is value for value, the same as cash. So it's like he's taking a big <coughs> wad out of his wallet. And he makes a very big raise. Andrew Feldman gets out of the way and the action is back over to Massa. It's a tough spot really. Shipping magnet, I'm sure, knows his way around the boardroom. He's also a successful poker player, certainly in terms of uh, Japanese rankings. But playing against Tom Dwan is a whole different kettle of sushi. Well, he's re-raising here. He's decided, I think I've got the best hand. Forty-nine thousand two hundred to call for. Tom Dwan, who has the nuts, he's decided not to slow play this hand, and it looks as though it's paid off at this point. Massa still has outs to the river. So Tom Dwan's going to be putting him either on a set or ace-king here. A big, big ace anyway. Well, he's made an incredible call at the flop, and it has paid off. Right now, he's just trying to figure out how to get the most chips out of Massa. Massa still has a lot of outs, but right now, Durr is in the best position possible. And he makes a call, so 
choosing not to re-raise Massa right there. Massa still has a lot of money left in front of him. So Massa looking for a repeat. And the river is a king of hearts, so Tom Dwan has the nuts. And if Tom Dwan was putting him on ace king... Hey, checks! Wow, that is very courageous and gutsy poker from Tom Dwan. Checking there, risking a possible check from Massa behind him and not getting paid off on the river. In, and look at that, it's paid off. Massa picks up $100,000 in one chip and bets 70 of it. Yeah, even though he'll get some change back from that plaque that's gone in, he's more or less committing himself. And there it is, Tom Dwan pulling the trigger, Massa quickly calling, and look at the disgust in his face as he sees such a big turn card for Tom Dwan and such a terrible card for him. Amazing bet is $400,000 and more in the middle of this base. And Tom Dwan has just won it with a 3-5 off suit. Well, he took a big risk and it certainly paid off.
run me over. But right now, it seems like anyone can run him over. And you know what? It, it's, I don't think it's a smart idea to let guys like Tom know that you just fold the pair of eights there. You know, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna decide on a hand like that, you know, make it quick. You know, you know, don't let them know that you're weak. Don't don't let, don't, don't let them know that you're capable of folding. You know. Eights are better here. I mean, eights or nines in that spot. Yeah, he looks like he's about two feet high right now, Roland the Wolf. I mean, he's, you know, he's not standing tall. It's a tough spot against Durr, against anybody else you could help you out, too. Anyway, uh, oh my gosh. Dwan's raised this pot with Queen 7. Devilfish has him dominated. And look at this flop. If Devilfish does not play his hand safe, he's going to be in a lot of trouble because it's hard to give Durr. You know, respect for any hand here. I mean, the king queen seems so strong against Durr's range, but I, like you know, my style here is just to check call. If they have a seven, you lose minimum. They, if if he doesn't, you know, you you get him to bluff. I'll flop or put you on seven, king when you're raised. <laughs> I want. Thirteen. I mean, Devilfish is giving some information away by saying, you know, I, I put you on a seven when you raise free flop, basically telling. Tom, that I don't have a seven. All right. I mean, nice. right now he's 19. overplaying it, which is gonna be he's gonna he's gonna trap himself. Yeah, right. Wow, is Devilfish gonna go out first in another heat? Well, you know what, Devilfish is the type of player that can check raise here as an information raise. So he might say if if Tom moves all in, he might he's capable of folding here too. So. Cool. Oh wow, interesting. This is danger for the fish. Is that the old smooth coast that's taking off me on the temple? And uh, this pot's already big now. This pot's big already, JC. Yes, 86,000 a pot. It's kind of it's kind of hard for Devilfish. I'm sure Roland and Elmuth and Andy Black right now is just just rooting for Devilfish to go bust here. I don't think I've got enough to fold if you do any moves, by the way. Let me just count this. I mean, what kind of options has the Devilfish got here? Is it check call? Is it all in? Is it check fold? I mean, I mean against several other players, you can actually check fold against against Tom and stuff because okay. Tom yeah. is is so capable of floating here. That's his, you know, Tom is so aggressive. He's he's vulnerable to bluff a lot, and it is. I mean, if if Devilfish busts out here, it's very very unfortunate for him. Tell you what, how when this hand is over, the devil fish is gonna go through the roof. Check. Oh wow, mm. check. He's he's pulling the trap. He's gonna go for it all in the river. He's going for it all. Oh my god. That's, <laughs> well, that's, that's pretty sick. That if, if there's a card for Delphus to go boat, that's it right there. If Devilfish doesn't go broke here, it'll be a victory for him at this stage, right? Yes. Yes. He is going broke though, isn't he? Fifteen thousand. That's a really small bet. A very a defensive bet. I'm all in. He's all in. Oh baby, I call I guess. I got the house. <laughs> Look at this close here again, man. Wow. Wow, well, tough one for double game, fish. Man. King, queen, queen, seven, and she finds a fucking seven, seven, <laughs> king flopper. Where's the map? What? I mean, Sorry? this kid's unbelievable. Yeah, I guess I played it better. Hold on, Gaffy. One more fucking time. Man! What a deck! It's just been like this for him. I know they re Wow, before. he's trying to run over you, fish. You know, he just spiked the perfect yeah, miracle. Yeah, that's so sick. I, I can't Why These would guys are showing sympathy for Devilfish, but deep down, they're, they're pretty satisfied. I know they before the flop, but they, they, I want to. You know, they, they, they moved up from the point. And, uh... Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's